Today, I'm gonna show you how to get started with DaVinci Resolve. More specifically, I'm going to show you the first thing that you need to do when getting started with DaVinci Resolve. Side note, I didn't do this and I definitely paid the price. Let's take a look. Before we get started, I just wanted to give a huge shout out to the J-Cuts community. All of the people listed here are members of the channel and have access to things like live editing training, free presets, a private Facebook group, and more. If you want these perks for yourself, just click the join button below this video or on the link in the description and sign up today. Okay, this is just a short little tip. It's not gonna make your video look better or sound better or anything like that. What it will do is save space on your computer computer, help you keep track of all your projects, and protect you from losing your projects if something goes wrong during an update or if your computer crashes. First, let's talk about the why. DaVinci Resolve doesn't save projects like Premiere or Final Cut or really any NLE that I've used. Most of those other programs create project files and you can move and store those files wherever you want. DaVinci Resolve, on the other hand, saves all of your projects to a database and that database is created on your main hard drive when you first install Resolve. Now, you can imagine what happens when you have a whole bunch of projects built up over time. The hard drive gets full, the computer gets slower, and things just get a little more difficult. So what we wanna do is make sure that the only things on your computer are your raw footage and your cache. And while we're at it, we'll go ahead and create a place to back up your projects just in case anything bad happens. To do this, you're gonna need a couple of things. First is some kind of external hard drive with decent storage. I personally use a 10 terabyte external hard drive from G Drive because it can connect via Thunderbolt 3, it's fast, and it's stackable. So if one gets full, I can just get another one and daisy chain it. I'll link that below if you wanna check it out. It's kind of pricey, but a thousand percent worth it in my opinion. The second thing you'll need is some kind of offsite storage, preferably with unlimited capacity and preferably with some kind of desktop synchronization. I'm a G Suite customer, so I just use Google Drive and I have the Google Drive files stream downloaded on my computer. Once you have all that set up, it's time to open up to DaVinci Resolve, and as usual, the first thing that opens is the project manager. Now, over to the left of all your projects, you should see your database. If you don't, just click this little switch up in the top left of the window. Okay, you see this right here, the one labeled local database? That's the database that gets created when you install DaVinci Resolve. We're going to ignore that for now. But you'll see I've got a couple other databases. The one marked YouTube has all my YouTube projects on it. The one marked Freelance has all of my client work on it. And the one marked Resolve 101 has all of the projects from the official DaVinci Resolve training. I know some of you are wondering, but Jay, why don't you create folders inside of your database and just use one database? And to that I say, good question. I don't really have a good answer. It's just personal preference. I found it easier to keep things organized when it's all in separate databases. So I just kind of stuck to that. Moving on. So what I wanna do here is create a new database because I, for whatever reason, never created a database for personal projects. And I have some personal projects that are just sitting in my YouTube database and it's, driving me a little crazy. So let's come down to the bottom of the project manager and click new database. And that's gonna open up a little pop-up and we're going to click on create. Make sure the disk is selected, give the database a name, and then click below to choose where we're going to have this database located. Now DaVinci Resolve databases have to be kept in empty folders. So I'm going to navigate to the personal folder on my external drive, go into video, and create a new folder titled Resolve Projects. Now I'm going to open that up and click select folder. And then after a couple seconds, that database will show up in the project manager and I can start moving my personal projects over to there. Okay, now we have databases for every occasion and they're not taking up space on my main hard drive. Let's move on to backing up. Like I said, I use Google Drive for this, but you can use Dropbox or any other cloud storage for this as long as you have enough space. What you want to do is go into your project manager again and in the top left, you'll see five icons. The icon on the far left is backup. Go ahead and click that and navigate to where you want your backup to be located. You'll see here that I've created a folder in Google Drive called Resolve Backup. So I'll just open up that and click save and that will take care of that. Now you have a way to keep your projects organized 
off of your main hard drive and you have offsite backup in case your computer decides to stop working on you. And before you say it, I know I didn't show you how to move projects from one database to another. It turns out that it's almost exactly like moving projects from one computer to another. To learn more about that, click here. And for more tools, tips, and tricks that'll make you a better video editor, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.